Vault floors are a great addition to any base or crafting station, providing easy access to storage without getting in the way. In this video, I'm going to show you how to raise foundations in Ark Survival Ascended and build a perfectly flush vault floor using low cost structures. Let's get cracking. Alrighty really Tinkers, I'm Toast Bloke and I'm back in Ark Survival Ascended because I'd like to share with you my method of building a vault floor. Now these are great if you want lots of storage in your base or crafting station but you don't want vaults in the way. And this build is also really quite simple. All you need are foundations, walls, ceilings and vaults for the main build and then quarter walls and ladders for my little trick. Now then, I recommend as with every build that you build on a flat or level surface but if you are forced to build on a bank, this is possible. It just gets harder and harder the steeper the bank gets. I'm just going to show you the basics here on a slight bank. Now the first structure you need is a foundation. And I recommend if you are on a bank, you build at the top end of the bank. And to be fair, this applies if you're building on the flat as well. We want to get this first foundation as low as possible. So get it in position, click fire once to lock it in place and then lower it to the lowest possible point before placing. Then what we want to do is we want to finish this top end. I'm going to be building a four by four. So one, two, three, four foundations to mark the full top of our build, just so I know where everything is. Now this will give me a two by two in the middle, which I'm going to raise, which means this floor will have nine volts. So this is plenty big enough for what I want to do right now. If you want to make it bigger, just double everything. Double it again if you want to, it's up to you. Now, the reason I suggest getting these as low as possible, I'll just show you quickly with another foundation. By default, when I lock this in place, I get very little travel when raising it. So if we are already going to be starting on the lower side of these foundations and these are high up, I'm not going to be able to raise the foundations higher than these ones. So make sure these are nice and low at the top part of the slope. Now then, since we've got those in place, we can work on getting the new foundation height for the foundations that will hold the vaults. These ones will be holding the ceilings that will act as the floor. What we want to do is grab out a ladder and just snap it to the front side of these foundations. We'll be using this to line everything up. From there, we're going to build a little contraption based on the one that I did for my tech dedicated storage floor build. I'll link that in the description if you'd like to check that out please do but what we are grabbing instead of a full wall is a quarter wall we're going to snap that on the edge and then we're going to snap a ceiling to that make sure it's in line with the foundations this quarter wall actually creates an offset you want it in line with the foundation so this won't work so snap that there and then get the quarter wall back out and switch it to a railing and we're going to snap them on the front underside of the ceiling and we want two down like so now you might be wondering why I've done this. Well, first of all, I'm using this ceiling to come out because the foundations want to try and snap to the ones that are already there. If we're working this far out, they don't. And the reason I've gone up by a half wall is it positions these railings at the right height to get a good reference point. Now I use railings for references because these bars going across them and the handrails are actually really, really good for finding correct heights for foundations for different builds. So I'll show you how this one works. We're going to jump on the ladder and hop over the top or hop off. Once you're off, walk backwards, forwards, strafe left, strafe right. You can even look up and down. Just don't rotate your character. And I'm going to get in front of these railings and grab a foundation. I'm then going to walk towards them, get this to go through them and then line it up. I want the outsides of the foundation to line up perfectly with the outsides of the railing. Once you've done that, jump into Orbital Camp or K mode if you're on PC. And what we're looking for is we want this foundation to be going halfway through the railing. So it's all the way through there. It's in front of it there. And that looks roughly about halfway to me. When you've got that, come out of Orbital Camp. And we are going to click fire once to lock this in position like so. Now then, we need to find the height of this foundation using the railings and the trick is, is to get this foundation in line with the underside of the bottom railings handrail now there's two points where you could put that there's that one there where it's under the outside parts which are a little bit thicker we don't want that we want this just underneath that central more narrow part of the handrail and then when we've got that there we can place the foundation and that is your second snap point and that should be all lined up with these foundations too 
So that is golden. Let me just pick up the scaffolding. You can get rid of all of that. You can even get rid of the ladder for now. And there we have our two different foundation heights. Now, like I said, this one's going to be a two by two. So I'm going to snap the rest of the foundations in the middle for that height. Because we want our floor going all the way around, you've guessed it, we are going to take foundations at the lower height all the way around the outside like so. And that gives us the ability to get this floor super flush. So you should have some type of raised pad in the middle of your build for the vaults. Once you've got that, it's time to get the vaults down. The way we're going to do this, we'll get the ladder out again because we want to be parallel. Just going to snap that to this front side. And I'm going to hop on it and we'll go over it this time. Once you're on, you'll be lined up with your structure and you can get out your first vault. Now we're going to be lining these up by hand because if you don't do it by hand, you can't get the desired effect. All I want to do is make sure I'm all the way across, right on the edge of this pad, this raised platform with the side of the vault. Orbital cam is a big help as always. Just make sure that is fully in line. If it isn't, you'll get a gap between the vault and the floor at the top. So make sure you can get it as close as possible. You want to do the same at the back as well. You don't want them overhanging, otherwise you'll have gaps between your vaults in the middle of the floor. It's quite finickety. Take your time with it if you can be bothered. If you don't, you might not get the result that you're after. But I think that's pretty good for our first vault. So we're going to come out of orbital cam and I'm going to place that. Now you'll notice snapping's on, you want that off. Snapping it leaves a gap between the vaults. We can't afford to have that gap, so turn it off. Now I like to go across to the other side next and just get that lined up nicely. That looks pretty on the edge there, so I will place that. And then we're gonna come back into the middle and just fill the gap, making sure that this is fairly evenly spaced, and then we can place that as well. Now you still don't want to rotate your character here. I'm just gonna walk backwards and we're gonna do the same again but for the middle row. So, off to the left we go, we get that lined up with the edge, we can orbital cam just to make sure we are happy with the placement, looks decent, and then what you want to do is you want this just touching the vault behind. You can also use the line and the two little nubs there, I guess, where the foundations join, and line them up with that beam, I guess, down the centre of the vault, that place where it bevels out, and that will help you find the exact centre of this pad. And I think that's looking pretty decent. So I'm going to come out of orbital cam and place that one. Go across to the other side like I did previously. Get it right on the edge there if I can. And place that. Uh oh. I've rotated it. Don't worry. Just get rid of it. Get it back out. Your character doesn't rotate. Just the vault. So we'll place that one. And then we're going to come back to the middle and fill in the gap as best we can. Like I say, get it nice and neat. I mean, if you care. I really care about this kind of thing, so you know, I'll take, I'll take hours. And let's pop that one in the middle too. And we're gonna rinse and repeat. The only thing I recommend here is, if you don't want any of the detail on the front of the vault to show or to stick through a wall, if you want a wall around this bottom section, just flip your vault. I think it's a nicer finish. And we are going to do the same. We're gonna get all the way over to this left-hand side. We're going to check it in orbital cam. Make sure that it's right over the edge there. I think that looks pretty decent. That's too far. Come on. That looks about right. And then the same with this front edge. We don't want it overlapping. We want it right on it. And I think that looks decent. So out of orbital cam and place. Move along. Do the same. Get this right up to this edge and place. And then back to the middle and fill in. And that should be a decent job. You can have a little check and get an idea by jumping in orbital and looking at the top. You'll kind of see if the lines between your vaults are evenly spaced. I feel like I've done a pretty good job there, but we are a little bit, yeah, a little bit tighter on the side near me than the far side. But I don't think that's a problem. I don't care that much, I've decided, right? Once you've done that, you're going to pick your ladder up. Your vaults are placed. It's the easy part now. All we're going to do is grab some walls and go around the outside of the foundations. Now, you can put walls on the lower snap point, on the lower foundation, around the vaults as well, to protect them if you fancy, but that stops you accessing them from underneath. And I think it's quite nice if you can access them from on top and inside of your build. You might want more things down here, you might want some things in the room below, and you might want access to the outside vaults. Obviously, you can't get the one in the center, 
Well, that's okay. We can make do with getting that one from the top. I'm going to put a door in just to keep this a room. And that is the structure that will hold our floor complete. Now, to get up there, you can have a ladder, you can have a ramp, you can have stairs. Let's get what we're we going to go for. I think we'll go for stairs because it's nice and, nice and straightforward. We'll run those down to the ground. There we go. And we can walk up on top. Now, all that's left to do is to get ceilings and to snap these around the outside of the vaults against the walls that we've just placed. And you'll see already, we are getting a really nice finish here with the vault floor. And it's looking super, super tidy. I do have a bit of a gap this side, which would just suggest that I didn't get quite far enough across. And that would also explain why these gaps here seem a little tighter than the ones on this side. So yeah, I think that's fine though. I'm not going to rebuild it just for that. Now, because this is just a standalone build for me, I'm going to pop railings around the outside so I don't fall off, just so it feels a little bit more finished. You're probably going to have a base built around this or your crafting station with your indie forges and the likes. It's up to you how you want to implement this and use this. But that is the finished look of the build. Now, the one thing I will say is annoying is for some reason in this game, you can't stand on the top of vaults yet. You drop about a third of the way down into them. Now, this can be a little bit problematic if you're picking up a lot of heavy things and you lose your ability to jump and you can't get out, right? It's probably going to happen. The way I'm getting around this at the minute is grabbing myself a bench and I just stick this on the side here. You can line it up how you want. You can put one on each side if you want. It's wherever you, you think you're going to need to get in and out of this area. And what this means is if you drop inside of the vaults to the lower level and you are picking loads of things up to the point you're encumbered and you can't jump out, if you just walk over to one of the benches, click to sit on it and then stand up. You can get out and bypass that and then crack on with whatever it was you were doing. Now, like I say, I'm hoping to patch this so we can just walk across the vaults at some point one day. But right now, we're busy patching things that don't seem as important as this to me, but I guess they're gonna do what they're gonna do. I really hope this gets fixed soon though, because it's a bit weird having a soft top on your metal vault. Again, like I say, you can get in here, you can access all the vaults around the outside, except the one in the middle, or you can choose to close this off, but I like to make good use of this space down here. You can even leave it open or have some secret doors, so you can load these up from down below with your tames, and then access everything from above. It's really up to you. I'm just showing you the tools you can use to get the jobs done that you want to get done. Now, like I say, I'm hoping they improve this, they fix things and everything gets lovely because this looks real cool. And once you've got your indie forges, your chem benches, your fabies, your smithies around here, it's super, super useful. But that's the build and that is the best I can get it as the game currently stands, which is why I'm going to call that there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this tutorial or you found it useful, please remember to like, subscribe and ring the notification bell. I'm super grateful for all the support that I've been getting and it's doing wonders for my channel, so thank you. If you'd like to get to know the community a little bit better, check out the links in the description below as well. You'll find my Discord there amongst other things. It would be great to get to know you better. But until next time, guys, you take care and I'll catch you later. Ciao,